Okay, so I want to give this video here. I haven't done one in a while, but this is Andrew with FantasyFootball.com and let you know about um, the method that I found, and it's been a method that's worked for me anyways that I just haven't used it or utilized it here in this particular uh, you know, contest type entry, which is the NHL. And not only um, cash, but also the tournament plays. And as you see here, what's going on here is uh, if you, you know, took time to look through all these lineups, uh, many of them lost because I didn't win consistently at all in hockey and sort of the same thing going on in the NBA. But I did find and through some research and being able to get some good um, lineups now, finally, to use the method that I'll show you that I have done here. And I'll basically give an outline of that as well here. Let me just log into my website real quick first, though. So I can just access the site and show you how I kept track of the information that I needed here. But basically, it is found within my free report of in the fantasy football that I do claim and as true for me so far that um, I've been able to do that with any sport. So basically, any sport you can apply this to. It takes work as necessary, but to be able to win, you know, uh, a lot of work sometimes going into winning uh, fantasy daily fantasy lineups such as on draft. I mean, uh, yeah, DraftKings and FanDuel. And um, to show you how I came to that, it's something that I've been doing. You know, if you're subscribed to my list, uh, informative list, list that I do try to send out daily on because it's a daily game, of course, with all these sports going on this time of year, especially with the NFL finishing up and things like that. Um, as I've showed and presented other videos on my site that were from um, done by another individual that you could find maybe in, in past previous as far as the basics. And also, I sent my subscription list that, you know, applied, um, subscribed to my email list, um, a lot of the basics already and where to find that. And that was actually at, um, sorry to jump around here, but it was at uh, Daily Fancy Sports rankings.com and you can easily find this here when you go to that site on the basics of what you want to go by and how to go about you know on the strategy portion I think it is and then you just go to the first one this is just recently came out too uh, the daily fantasy hockey strategy for FanDuel and DraftKings so this article goes and in, delves into you know things like upside and downside when you get into cash and comparing, you know, both, I found it a very interesting read, of course, that I use and implement what well, I implemented right away, cash game strategy, as well as you read through this, you know, uh, the GPP strategy or tournament strategy. So get into that and, and read through that so you understand the basics because all the info is there. But even deeper into, uh, I don't know if I would call this basic, but I guess advanced was that I took my standard deviation to some of these players and these plays here to, you know, pick out some of these players, which I'm trying to remember I used. I especially used this Dallas, these Dallas um, frontline guys, um, such as Sagan, I think the name is, and Ben, that had a um, low variance in scoring at 0.55 coefficient, you know, variable in scoring and enough upside with these guys at eight and nine uh, standard deviation, which is fine. And in variation numbers, and also I, I know I took um, this guy Hall from New Jersey, also in the front line, and this guy also uh, I don't know if he was in the same line that night for the hockey you know um, matchup that night, but these guys I noticed did well in tournament plays, and even though their variation is higher coefficiently um, at 0.83 and 0.65, however their upside was higher as I consider this to be upside um, in the deviation of 14 is good. It's great for a tournament. So a lot of times when I see, you know, advice given over on this site, because they do give daily advice every day, you know, when you look through the home page, I can verify what I really like, what I don't, when I'm looking at these type of lineups here, using this information that I have to um, put in the standard calculator and be able to then uh, come over here, obviously, and pick out my lineups. So at the top of this list here, in the, for example, in the dollar 
50-50 player league, I finished 6th out of 50th, which is good. <laughs> More than better in a 50-50 league because you only need to be 25th. And as well as I did a double up on two entries out of three that I gained uh, double my money money in two out of three. So for that night, basically, I was uh, in the in a profit of like a um, dollar and five cents. It doesn't seem like a lot, obviously, but if you can consistently, uh, obviously, keep that up, then you'll be good <laughs> every night making money. Just scale that up and enter into ten dollar contests and on and on up as much as you can afford to go into. And so this is what I'm talking about now because. You know, finishing uh, 2,278 out of 9,580. So then I, I don't stop there, though, as I'll just get, get better and figure out more and more and get more familiar, you know, with the game because I don't really follow hockey, but I'm going to try to follow it as much as I can because the more knowledge I have, the better and trying to figure out some of these uh, metrics and so forth. So, and this, of course, helps always to have your draft dashboard up, which you can look at um, top plays, you can look at your studs which also falls in line with the consistent, consistent players, uh, which, which it won't really show much of right now because it's only like a two-game slate tonight. But I just want to make sure you're aware of, you know, what it is and how it works as does it, you know, help find your lowest proven players. But you can also see here, as you can look at, like, high upside, you know, 46 um, points this guy has scored in a game. So uh, this is a Pittsburgh winger, so that's great. Um so it's only Pittsburgh, Boston, Anaheim, and another team playing tonight. Uh, Anaheim playing Pittsburgh and Boston playing Montreal. So when it's a better night there, um, I'll try to get into more detail and make another video cut of how we get into and show you uh, as documented there, you know, per video. And obviously, uh, as I'll have to do another one of these sheets here, it takes, like I said, a little time, just like I do with football. It's the same concept. You know, all I'm doing is taking a standard deviation calculator is, uh, let's see. And no one, else, no one else is doing this. You know, no one else is doing this that I know of. So I just wanted to show you guys, you know, make sure you understand what's going on. Is, uh, so I take, like, let's say these were the numbers of a player right here. Did the guy scored these the last several nights, you know, 10, 2, 38, 23, 38, 23, and 21 points. And just, hey, calculate it. See what we get as a standard deviation and we get here 13.2 well that tells me right away that's a tournament play for this particular guy that I'm calculating and then I bring out my calculator obviously and this makes it real easy to find out your coefficient as far as a consistent player you know if he's really consistent obviously those numbers being lower the lower the number is the more consistent he is let's say uh, 13.2 that is divided by simply the the fantasy points per game score. So let's say that was the case with this guy that we just looked at real quick on the top of the stud list. If those, you know, hypothetically, because we're not going to calculate the numbers right now, it'll take a little, you don't want to take too long. We just say, you know, 17.4 games. So divided by 17.4. Oops. Let's try that again. 13.2 divided by 17.4. That means that he would have um, 0 0.75 standard deviation. Not as good as some guys, obviously, in the Dallas uh, first line, you know, skaters. But um, we can consider him for a tournament, you know, play. Um, now, that doesn't mean that uh, let's take a look at his as a better idea here, his most recent games. You know, the actual numbers are 26, 41, uh, which he just got, you know, close to his high of 46, um, 25, 10 points, and 3 points. He had a low game at some point out of the last five games played. So, you know, whatever that calculates to be, uh, if I could calculate that, that would be, if I could copy that, I could put it in, you know, right now and actually find out. Let's just see. So we got 26.4, 41.8, whoops.
What were the other numbers? I can remember. 41.8, 25.3, 10 10.1, and 3.2. That was a 0 0.8, 25.3. Three point two, and what was the other number? Ten point one. Doesn't matter what order you put them in; it's all the same same numbers. Ten point one. All right, so that's calculate right now for his last five games. Let's see what we get. We have fifteen point. We we'll just kind of uh, up round it. Fifteen point one three. All right. Fifteen point one three. Divided by his average was, let's check it again. Fancy points per game is right here, 17.4. Divided by 17.4. It's actually 0.87 standard deviation. So this is a really quick way you can do that. I just kind of really, not so much was discovered because like I said, I had this out before in a free report that you just go to fancy football uh, wealthyfantasyfootball.com and download, you know, the free report. That way you can get the information on how to go about, you know, doing this as well and some more background information on it to understand this. You know, if you don't want to have it written down in the PDF format, that's fine to download a sort of, you know, sort of an ebook. But this just tells me that even though um, he's considered a low risk stud option player, that his upside is pretty good based on the numbers there, you know, um, because that was a, um, standard deviation of, uh, what was it, 15.8, which to me equates to pretty good upside, but he's doing this consistent enough, so there you get the best of both worlds, that's the key to winning, you know, enough consistent um, play from the player scoring um, on a nightly basis, but enough upside, you know, to bring yourself into the winnings, and so that's what I, I really wanted to make sure you understand, get the point of. And I'll be able to just uh, stop that video right there since I've showed you how to do so and keep you updated in the next video. All right. Have a great night.